Hey again, uh, my name's Will and welcome to the K9TC channel. Um, next thing, gonna, there's a rack here. Well, this is nice. It's nice to have in a fire. Um, it's not necessary, uh, but I do keep one on my pack and this one I can see is well used. Um, I don't care about getting dirty. It happens. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, next thing I've got down is going to be machetes. Um, training purposes, hiding purposes, uh, I keep machetes different places. Again, um, I'm testing machetes and um, I'm actually testing the new, uh, or, uh, well, they're Harbor Freight. Um, you know, I want to know kind of what's going on, what's not going on. You know, I like to know, keep update on some stuff. One of the things that I realized that you know these things have got um, pretty thick blades. You know, I mean they're they're somewhat flimsy. Um, there's a mini machete. Um, oops, <laughs> almost. Um, but uh, you know. When you're you're in a certain situation, you know, machete is another thing. If I could carry something, I carry my machete, um, just for the reason that I trust my machete. I know how to use a machete. Um, uh, I can use a machete in not only survival, um, to gather, hunt. Uh, I can use one in self-defense. Um, one of the machetes that I've been using for see, a few of them for quite a few years. Um, and they're, they're nylon sheets. Um, you can tell, obviously, this is a little bit older. Um, we got two of them here. And, uh, like I said, it's, you know, they're, they're pretty good machetes. Um, and, uh, I always, like I said, I always keep them sharp. So, um, mine, you really can't see it, but, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're always kept oiled. Um, they look older. They're not shiny because um, they're literally used every day. Uh, I process wood with them too. Uh, this is going to be your all-around cheap little machete. I've got it, you know, quite a few years ago, and I've used this thing so many times and sharpened it so many times, and and uh, I've probably, you know, I've probably taken, you know. Uh, a good half inch off the blade um, itself but you know uh, anyway uh, I was going to explain is this one here is another one that uh, you know I guess yeah, they're, they're plastic handles and they're, they're really kind of you know what would normally be not so great machetes but you know I wanted something that's it's, it's you know it's, it's fairly stiff um, and this is the one I use more often to use to process wood um, other than a knife, uh, you know, obviously it's bigger. It's got a, you know, it's it's somewhat light, but it's still got a good, good solid hard blade on it. Um, you know, it's got its nicks and it's it's been used and abused, and um, but you know, years and years later, after use, it's it's uh, great. One of the things I've actually done is that uh, maybe I'll show it in one of the videos is uh, with the handles. I don't know if you can see the in the handle. There's a, it's kind of like a grip, um, and what it is, and what I've well actually what I've done is I've taken their uh, their little square their um, it's uh, tape that's actually designed for drywall um, repair, um, and it's uh, you know about a tube that big. I'll have to show it one of these times, um, and I put a thin layer one little layer wrapped around it on that, and then what I do is I take some electrical tape. And um, and uh, I wrap it really, really tight, uh, and uh, get it on there. What that does is that gives me a grip, and it's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see here. You know, let me kind of get in the camera and try to focus this here. It's um, I don't know, maybe able to see that here. Anyway, um, from about here, here to here is, uh, well, actually, where I'm at now, get neighbors. You can probably hear them. Um, 
about now school's out they're having fun over there uh, sounds like they're playing with pigs um, like I said even in a survival situation I can't even beat ham um, and bacon uh, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you on here and of course this is to be done with this knife too because it's a lot more solid and it's a lot stiffer I don't ever like to stick my machetes in the ground um, one it dulls them two you know it, it just I just don't like it um, it happens it happens and if I have to do I have to I'll sheathe it I'll put it up you know whatever whatnot now the same way with the knife um, if you get it set in there I know some people have the scandy edges and everything else you know you put it on there and uh, what I found is oops, Call that the blooper, um, and you know just you know. I mean, you can still process. You know, to process wood, and uh, you know what you got to do. Use just thicker hardwood here, and uh, well, let's do it this way here. No need, and uh, turn around and hurt myself when I don't really have to. Got them cut. It's the same way with the top. Uh, don't recommend if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, just really, really use caution um, to practice. But, yeah. Not. Thanks when you go through. Anyway, um, like I said, at any given time, I like to keep um, four machetes uh, in my pack. Reason for that is uh, trading, leaving. If you know, I'm, I'm processing wood. And I've got to go. I've got my pack. I have to get out of here. Um, I've got to go. And if I, you know, go to use it or, or you know, if one breaks or something happens, or you know, I don't know, bend the blade. I'm not gonna sit there and I'm not gonna try to fix it um, for safety reasons. Uh, I just can't control it. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, screw it. It's, it's going um, so no matter no matter what you should always have um, always have an idea of, of your equipment and how to use your equipment how to use your equipment properly um, what is the safest way to use your equipment and test your equipment uh, if you don't I don't want to tell you you know you're, you're gonna be out there and you know you're not gonna have backup you're you're, I guess in English terms, you're, you're going to be screwed, you know, I mean, you can have, you can spend, you know, a million dollars for equipment, um, but if you don't know how to use your own equipment, when you're out there, uh, and in a survival situation, or, uh, shit hits the fan situation, 
you know, I'm sorry, bud. You know, you're, you're just you're screwed. Um, so practice, practice, practice. Uh, I mean, everything from one-handed to two-handed. As you can see, I've got, you know, knives. I've got machetes. I've got axes, you know, or hatch, um, hatchet. I'm just multiple purpose, you know, I've got multiple ways to make fire, multiple uses for tools, um, everything I have, I can multi-purpose, and if I can't multi-purpose my equipment, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, the, uh, the one thing that I do recommend, by the way, is, you know, you, you take a stump, and you find a stump, uh, you, you know, you get a good one. Um, this one's been out in the weather, and said it's, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty much rotted to a point, and, uh, but it's still pretty solid, because um, it's, it's been used. One thing I said I recommend is going out there, you know, taking your machete, you know, and, and, uh, and taking your stump and softening your stump up. Now, I'll tell you, the reason that, you know, I may be doing this, you know, not doing something right here, and, and I'm sure somebody may disagree with me, but let me stop while I'm doing here. But what I'm doing is uh, it, I'm softening up in a way I, I want it hard, but I still want the top of my stump, you know, my chopping stump, um, soft uh, to a, a, an extent. I mean, I don't want it mushy soft. I just want it... Um, to where when I'm going through and I hit something, you know, I'm not I'm not hitting a hard surface. Um, I know that it's going to be softened up, and uh, you know the same thing with is it any of my axes. I know that that they're all going to be sharp and work. Uh, if I need to, I know that when it goes through, I'm not hitting something hard, which means and I'm not, you know, it's. Yeah, I personally believe it's saving my blades, um, and to me that's really important. Uh, the you know the less surface I have to, to go through, the better. And what I found is, you know, it's 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 really nice. I like equipment I can use one-handed. You know, I can use back. You know, and of course with an axe, you you can wear steel-toed boots, or you know, you always stay back. You know, and because you know, and, and always hit with the far end of the stump or the high end of the stump. Um, just because it's important because if you hit the low end, you know, and you miss, you know, then that's coming back and that's hitting you in the leg or cutting off your foot. Um, and I've seen what, you know, these axes can do in general. Um, the other reason I like these is I don't have a head to break. Um, you know, I don't have something swinging off, you know, and, and uh, I mean, you know, I guess I can, you know, to extent and explain, you know, you know, how do you use an axe, you know, I mean, you know, start up, you know, but practice, practice, practice. And, uh, same thing with hatchets and machetes and everything else. You want to practice, practice, practice. It's whether you got machetes, oops, um, you know, or you've got... You know, a core knife, or you know, whatnot. You know, or even heaven forbid, you should have your bear girl's knife. You know, you, you know how to use it. You know how to use everything you have. Um, always keep a pair of gloves, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, stay safe. You know, really understand what you're using. And like I said, it, it never hurts. And this looks like a lot, but my pack is, I'll have to have it weighed one day, but to me it's light. Um, but, you know, and then again, I'm used to heavy things, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and please rate and comment and tell me what you think.